Matthew eleven twenty eight through thirty, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. We all struggle in many ways with many things in this life, but God is with us. We just need to trust Him. The hard part is trusting Him when we can't really physically see Him or what He is doing, and we don't know where He is leading us. However, if we can just trust Him to know what He is doing and where He is leading us, and leave that to Him and just follow Him, then maybe we would be able to rest in His peace and be at peace with what we are able to do and not be so overwhelmed by what we wish we could do in our own power and not feel so tied up by what we think we lack. Maybe that's where that peace that passes all understanding is found. Maybe we just forget to look there because we are so busy looking at our circumstances instead. John 16.33 Jesus said, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. He is all we need. We need to come to Him to have the peace we seek. Proverbs 3, 5-8 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Notice that it's when we trust Him and acknowledge Him that He directs us. Most of us have it turned around backwards. We want God to give us direction. Then we will decide if we want to trust Him. But that's not the way God works. He's God. We are not. So He calls us to trust Him. Then He will direct us. Our trust in Him is proven by us trusting Him even when we don't know the direction. If we already know what the end result will be, then it doesn't take much trust to obey Him, does it? Think about that a moment. 1 Peter 5, 6-7 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Hebrews 4:14 4, through 16 Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession of faith. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. We can and should bring our needs, concerns, fears, and requests to God in prayer. He has given us that freedom, right, and ability through Jesus. Let's give it to Him in prayer and learn to trust Him with it, and receive His peace in return for that trust. Philippians 4, 6-7 Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Even as we bring our prayers to God, it's very important that we don't forget to give Him thanks. Giving thanks, even before we see our prayers answered, is an act of faith, and God is more than worthy of our thanks, our faith, and our trust. 
The most important trust to put in Him is to trust Him with your salvation. If you have not done that yet and you want to now, it starts with repentance of sin, turning away from it, and turning to Jesus for forgiveness and salvation. That starts with a simple little prayer, like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. I repent of my sins, so please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of his will, so you can live out his holiness in your life. If you have ever wished that you could read the story of Jesus' life from all four Gospels chronologically, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you find your peace in Jesus.